everyone. Are we all ready for bedtime? Have you got your warm snuggly blanket and your favourite teddy? Tonight I'm going to read you a story called Ruby's Worry. Ruby's Worry. Ruby loved being Ruby. She loved to swing up high. And she loved to explore all the faraway places. Sometimes she even went all the way to the bottom of the garden, but was perfectly happy until one day, she discovered a worry. It wasn't a very big worry. In fact, it was so small at first that she hardly noticed it. But then the worry started to grow. Each day it got bigger. It just wouldn't leave her alone. It was there at breakfast staring at her over the cereal box. And it was still there at night time when she cleaned her teeth. The funny thing was that no one else could see Ruby's worry, not even her teachers. So Ruby pretended that she couldn't see her worry either. She tried to carry on as if everything was normal, but it just wasn't. The worry was always there, stopping her from doing things that she loved to do. She wondered if the worry would ever go away. What if it didn't? What if it stayed with her forever? Ruby didn't realise, but she was doing the worst thing you can ever do with a worry. She was worrying about her worry. Now the worry was enormous. It could barely fit in the kitchen at day time. It filled up half the school bus. And it took up the whole row at the cinema. The worry became the only thing that Ruby, Ruby could think about and it seemed that she would never feel happy again. Then one day, something unexpected happened. Ruby noticed a boy sitting alone. He looked how she felt, sad. And then she noticed something else, something hovering next to him. Could it be that he had a worry too? It was. Ruby realised that she wasn't the only person to have a worry after all. Other people had them too. She asked the boy what was on his mind and he told her the strangest thing happened. His worry began to shrink. Then Ruby did the best thing you can ever do with a worry. She talked about it. As the words tumbled out, Ruby's worries began to shrink until it was barely there at all. Soon, both of their worries were completely gone. Finally, Ruby felt like herself again. Of course, that wasn't the last time she ever had a worry. Everyone gets them from time to time. But now that she knew how to get rid of them, they never hung around for too long. Do you sometimes have a worry? It's okay, we all have worries. All you need to remember is to talk about it. You can talk to your mum or your dad or to your teachers or to your friends or even to your brothers and sisters. I hope you enjoyed our story tonight.